What's going on YouTube? It's Green Shiz here. I'm back. It is Monday evening, 11:10 uh, Eastern Standard Time. Oh, fucking crazy day. Crazy day. Um, took a day off Sunday. Didn't do much uh, much Pokemon. Um, kind of got back, getting back in the swing of things today. Uh, wife came home from a four-day vacation, so it's been kind of slow on the sales side. Haven't done much much of that um, in the past few days. Um, still walk, watching the market kind of tick down a little bit. Just like crypto, it looked like it was going back up a little bit today. Um, last I looked, Doge went up five cents or something. So shit's moving like crazy, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, the Pokemon market's crazy, man. It's uh, I'm excited because I like this time last year I was not looking into slabs or slab prices, graded cards. I was strictly just buying and selling raw collections and keeping and building binder collections seeing the slab prices go this low is pretty dope um there's still stuff that's going to be unattainable like the shonen jump version of this card that's probably going to be a hundred grand forever but um a lot of shit is getting to where I want to buy a bunch of shit. So it's uh it's getting pretty crazy. The recently saw the first edition fossil Zapdos holographic sold for just over seven hundred dollars on eBay. Um sorry I'm looking at a hockey game that I put three hundred dollars on. Um CGC nine Shadowless Machamp sold for just under two hundred dollars CGC 9, a 9. Um, that's about where the Unlimited Machamp is. I sold a sealed Unlimited Machamp in the plastic wrapper for $125 at peak. And that is nuts. It's almost the same price as a, a pack fresh shadowless version. Graded. Um... Yeah, so it's uh, just sit back and watch it because let the bitch fucking crash and buy up everything you fucking can because, man, um, even just sell like the amount of work to sell something like on a, face on a Facebook group, you cannot sell these kinds of cards. Um, but 95% of the people on Facebook groups are there to flip. Um, so they're not usually there to build their collections. Most of the time there are those people in there. I'm in there. But uh, pe some people are. And usually slabs have always been pretty tough in there I've noticed. Raw cards sell like hotcakes if you got a liquid card. A Blastoise, Charizard, Venus, or Lugia. If you post a raw version and it's a raw price... Not asking like PSA 8 prices. You're going to sell the bitch. It's crazy. Um, not as much people that have $500 sitting around to buy a fucking 8.5 red dot Blastoise. Um, not that that's $500. Minnesota Wild just scored again. Now it's 3 to 1. About to lose that money. But uh, that's rough. <laughs> The uh, sports gambling in Michigan opened up, and I gave, they gave me $100 when it opened up. I turned it into $200 on a boxing match, and then I doubled that by betting $200 on one hand in blackjack, and I sat on that for about a month and a half. Today, I'm like, Vegas Golden Knights going to win this series by one and a half points. So I put $300, <laughs> pissed all my free money away. Should have just put that into Doge. Fucked up. Three to one. So that Vegas needs to score four goals in just over two periods. That's a that's an L. Anyways, I digress. Live some, win some, you lose some. That's the way it goes. Um, yeah, the, like so. I'm thinking about selling. I want to sell 
because I know the market's going to dip lower than what it's at. And it's going to be, I don't know when it's going to bounce back. <sighs> Everyone's hyping up the chilling rain, EV heroes. It ain't got a Charizard in it. It's got some sick alternative arts. I God believe I'm going to get some Zapdos cards. Just like I have Amazing Rare Kyogres. Um, I think I have 20 Amazing Rare Kyogres sent to CGC with subgrades. That card's cheaper than dog shit. It's like $250 a card on fucking TCG player now. I'm about to cop them boys. Um, yeah, it's wild right now. It's crazy. Crazy times. I, uh, time to buy. It's time to fucking buy. I did go through my first edition binder and identified all my good cards and there is a lot. I'd say the average non-hollow is around a PSA 7 or PSA 8. The average hollow is probably around a PSA 6 with one PSA 9 quali potential in there. So that'll be interesting to see what I, I still don't know what I'm going to do with those. I don't know if I want to send them in. Fucking turnaround times. It's $60 per card now express through CGC. But you get them bitches quick, but I don't plan on selling these cards. So I don't really want them that quick, but they cost. Maybe I could do standard and it's better, but fuck. God, the turnaround times suck. Um... One good thing, oh, fuck, Ludkins got their head out of their ass. I am now getting my PSA submission, 22 card submission I did back in June um, to them. I think it was June. Maybe it was early July. I don't remember. I'd have to look, but I'm getting that back here. It's currently in the mail to Ludkins. So if I had to guess, I would say another 15 business days because their head's still going to be up their ass a little bit. So that's, that's you got to live with it. But uh, 22 cards, I cannot wait to see all those grades because I did my own grades. Ludkins, I paid for them a dollar per card for them to tell me what they think the grades are going to be. And that guy was smoking crack. Crack, bro. I got upcharged for three cards. I probably mentioned this before a while back. I got an upcharge for three cards, and I nailed two of those cards. Nailed it. And they were like seven. I was like, it was a nine. They were like, no, it's a seven. Dude, you're fucking high. Why not? I, I need my money. I should get my money back if they're off by two numbers. I'm going to fucking tell them. Like, what are you, what are you, what am I, what are you charging for over there? You fucking rolling. Uh, fucking 10-sided dice landing on a number. I don't fucking get it, bro. I don't fucking get it. But that'll be that'll be sick. Lots of first edition Team Rocket. Some fire. Like I said, I know three of the grades because I got an upcharge. They put it right in the fucking email. What the grades were, which is kind of stupid. But I'm hopeful that the rest of the cards are doing pretty good. Pretty good. So... I'm tired, man. God, this is some late nights. Um, I just listed this sealed box for sale. Generation set, four packs. On the Facebook groups, I did like 240 bucks. So, with shipping, with the shipping for that's probably an easily like 10 to 12 dollars with materials. Um, I have another cool thing I'm going to be selling. Is this first edition? Neo Genesis set. So it's all pretty much the entire non hollow set minus the rares. It's every card. And they're damn good condition. So that'll be good. Haven't done one of them in a while. Those are pretty cool. Those, uh, Usually pull in some good money. I'm guessing it'll probably, for that stack, it'll probably be about $400. So, just takes a little bit of time. You gotta take a front and back picture of each card, which is about 90 cards. You got 180 pictures. It's a pain in the dick. That's the way it is. Um, no updates on the uh, Shadowless Charizard that I have cracked out of my slab. 
Um, it's still, no, it's being graded slash quality assurance right now. So that's good. Um, yeah. I am looking and hawking. I am following and watching so many cards on eBay right now. I actually didn't know there was a threshold, and I hit a threshold that said I'm watching too many cards, um, which is crazy. Let's see. I forget when this auction ends. PWCC, my eBay watch list. So that's not PWCC. So the Yu-Gi-Oh! one for T PWCC, I think it's the day before Pokemon. And it's almost three days away from now. It's like three days from now. What is this? It's a PSA 9. So there's a PSA 9 Bandai first generation Blue Eyes White Dragon for nine, almost $900. Three days left. And the Pokemon one is... Yeah, it's like four days from now. It's a day apart. But there are some bangers. And I'm going to be... I, I want to sell a bunch more shit before then, so I'm ready to fucking pop off. Because I'm about to go fucking ham. Bouts the. Bouts the. So that'll be great. Looking forward to it. I have a bunch of shit. I need more shit. I want to sell some shit. In a, one month from now, I'm going to Texas for the uh, Collecticon down there. Taking a bunch of shit down there to just trade and sell. Um, buy some if there's anything down there. Usually vendors are talking out their ass for prices. At least in the sports cards places I visited here, they're fucking high. Just stupid. Just check comps, sold prices on eBay. If you don't know how, ask a friend because, holy shit, people do not know how to sell cards. Let me tell you. Um, there's a market for a reason. You look at last sold listings, you should price around that and not $1,000 over that. Unless it's near and dear to your heart, then you shouldn't have it in your fucking case. It's the way it goes. You ain't gonna sell shit, dude. Um, yeah, that's fucked. Anyways, I think that's all I got. Nothing too major tonight. Um, Vegas Gold Knights nice to get their fucking head out of their ass so I don't lose $300. That would be awesome. Um, yeah. Peace. Keep moving forward, boys.